Welcome, welcome, welcome to Gab and Jam, episode 336. This uh, topic is really been explosive lately, but we had to give our two cents. But it is what can we learn from P. Diddy as DIY rock stars. And of course, you guys know some of the awful allegations, um, just completely evil um, things um, that it seems as if him and his people were up to. Um, and, uh, and, and so I'm not referencing a video. You can just Google it. There are tons of videos out there. But um, what really struck us was how wide um, this ring of abuse uh, was so that in, in 16 years that there were so many people that colluded to cover it up and you know there had to be people who were reporting it to the police and I guess that was not followed up on. We got people now even mentioning things like maybe Tupac's death and Biggie's death. I mean, or what about his first wife? I mean, just, just, just awful. But so the thing that we can learn um, as DIY rock stars, we're always looking for we're always looking for uh, that next leg up, that advantage. And I guess uh, people felt like if they uh, did the things that he wanted them to do or um, or stayed with him, that it was worth it for them in the end so that they could get fame. But what it reminded us is that you can't be so consumed. I mean, we're talking people like Justin Bieber. We're talking people like Usher. We're talking about people like, I mean, it's just the... the Steve Harvey now is implicated in it. it. This thing is just incredibly huge and widespread. And it reminded us that we can't be so consumed with being rich and or famous that we lose sight of good, common human decency. My thing is, if he's having these weekly parties that sometimes last a week, think about how many staff people have to be involved, how many hotels, how many um, you know people who are providing the drugs and of course the, the prostitutes. I mean, it just the, it, it's just ridiculous. And now there are allegations that people as young as nine were abused in these parties. I'm like this is, and it was videotaped and whatever else. And, and that he would put guns to people's heads to make them take drugs. Like this is ridiculous, just ridiculous. So anyway, just again, keep in mind that um, being famous or rich or having impact is great, but you still have to remember that it's not worth it to let somebody abuse you. And please, 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 I would have no, I don't know, a no, um, play no part in helping to abuse other people or covering it up. That is just, it's ridiculous. You have anything to add? No, I think you kind of really kind of saying basically everything okay. that's out there. Mm -hmm. All right. What do you guys think? I mean, I'm sure you've heard about it. Oh, yeah. And even uh, to the, I, I should have mentioned this before, but even the fact that that when Jamie Foxx was hospitalized last year, that they think that P. Diddy poisoned him. But the reason why he's not saying anything is because P. Diddy has something on him. Like, yeah, it's just just nuts, nuts, nuts. If you're interested in that kind of thing, we don't usually talk about that kind of stuff because we try to keep it on the positive side, mm -hmm. but still you do have to be cautious and not let somebody abuse you just because you want what you think they have to offer. It's, it's ridiculous. Yes. All right. What else is happening around here? Obtainium flow is streaming everywhere. That's um, great. Yeah. It is. Mm -hmm. We got our t-shirts and I don't know if you guys know, but we're at 99,000 subscribers That's on great. YouTube. Mm -hmm. So we want to see what happens if and when we cross that line to 100,000. I, I don't, I mean, it's just been amazing and, you know, and thank you all for the people who are subscribed, mm -hmm. but um, you can also uh, stream Obtainium Flow wherever you get your music. And then, of course, if you dig the vibe and you want to be a part of the tribe, be sure to subscribe. We're wishing you love, peace, and chicken grease. <laughs>